Good morning. Hello, ma'am. Are you Miss Kingston? Yes, I am. Ma'am, we're here from the county government. We're here to um, investigate your situation. May we come in? Oh, oh yes. Thank you for coming. Please come in. Thank you. Please sit here at my table. I, uh, I've i sold my living room furniture trying to make ends meet, you see. And I'm sorry. I can't offer you tea. That's okay. I haven't got any gas service for several days now, mm -hmm. so uh, there's nothing to heat the water. Do you have any groceries? Any money at all? No. No money. And I don't have any food, just a few crackers. Ma'am, we, uh, we want to know what's wrong. Why are you so poverty-stricken that the county needs to help? Do you have any assets? Do you own this home? No, just been renting it. But I'm behind in my rent now, too. Oh, I'm sorry I've caused so much trouble. I just need a little help. I'm sure the Lord will provide all my needs. How old are you? Do you have any relatives? I'm 80 years old, and well, my husband died many years ago. But I have a boy, and he's a precious boy. Hmm. This boy of yours, where is he at? He's in India. And what does he do over there? Well, he went over to be a doctor. But he got away from that, and he's an electrical engineer now. Works for the United States government. Well, have you told him your situation? Asked him if he could help you? Oh, my. <laughs> a mother can't go begging her boy for support. I just love him so. I can't tell him I'm in need like this. He's such a good boy. Hmm. I do hear from him from time to time, though. He writes me such sweet letters every month, sometimes twice a month. He doesn't send any money to help you? No, no money. But I'm sure he would if he could. He tells me he's prospering. But, well, he must be under some great burdens with his business. Must not be able to afford to send me money. But he does send me some of the prettiest pictures I've ever seen in my life. What kind of pictures? Oh, about this big? I enjoy them so much. Hmm. Can you show us some of them? Yes, yeah, sure. I keep them right here in my Bible. Hold on just a second. I still have every one of them. See? Aren't they pretty pictures? Here's one of a king, a queen. Wow, look at that. My, she's a pretty queen. Here's a palace in India. Elephants. Ma'am. Excuse me. Ma'am, th those aren't just pretty pictures. What, what do you mean? Mrs. Kingston, these pretty pictures are actually bank drafts from India. That's not a giraffe, that's an elephant. No, not giraffe. Bank drafts. Oh, bank drafts? You mean these these pictures are are money? Yes, ma'am. I've had money in my Bible all this time? Yes, ma'am. You are not a poor woman. Mrs. Kingston, you are rich. Oh, my. Really? Why, when God answers prayer, he doesn't do it halfway. I'm not rich. I'm richer than rich. You know, that makes me think. I want you to think about this. Some people think the Bible's just a storybook or a picture book. Like I thought those banknotes were just pretty pictures. But there are riches in God's word even better than a million dollars. So if you go to searching in the Bible, you can find God's promises and claim those wonderful treasures for yourself. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, get your coat. We're taking you to the bank right now. That's the way it is tonight with most people. If we just take our fingers to the Bible of God's promises, we are more than millionaires. Yeah. Other riches of His grace. Though no matter what we have done, Come, let us reason together, saith God.